Now, in the first part of the question, then, we've got to find the equation of the line L. So, how are we going to do this? Well, when we've got an equation of a line, what we need to think about is what the form of the line is. And so often you get people thinking it's y equals mx plus c, which it is. But there's another form which I prefer to use, which is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And this is useful when you've got a line passing through a point, x1, y1, which we have, the point A. So x1 is going to be 6 and y1 is going to be 7. And we've got the gradient. The only problem is we haven't got the gradient of the line L at this stage. But we can get it because we should know that the product of these two gradients, L and the line going through AB, the green line here, the product of these gradients should equal minus 1. So if the gradients, let's say the gradient of AB is MAB, and the gradient of the line L, which we want, is M, we know that if we multiply those two gradients together, you should always get negative 1 when they're perpendicular. So we can get M as being minus 1 over the gradient of the line AB. Alright, so that's a bit of background to uh, what we should be doing. So that's basically what I'm thinking about in doing this question. Okay, well, let's make a start on it. So first of all, I've got to get the gradient of the green line AB. So let's just say gradient of AB. Alright, to give an intro there. Gradient of AB, difference in the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. So if we say we start with 7 for the Y coordinate, it'll be 7 take away the 2 here, divided by, keep the order the same, with the X coordinates, 6 minus 8. Alright, if we work this out, what we get is 7 take 2 is 5, 6 take away 8 is minus 2, so we've got minus 5 over 2. So that's the gradient of AB, and that means that therefore the gradient of L okay, is going to equal negative the reciprocal of this gradient. So in other words, all you need to do is change the sign and turn this upside down. So you've got essentially a gradient of two fifths. So when it comes now to finding the equation of the line L, let's just introduce that. We can say that therefore equation of L is, all right, and what's it going to be? Well, we can use this form of the equation of a straight line and that will give us y minus y1, y1 is now 7, equals the gradient, 2 fifths, multiplied by x minus x1. So it's x minus, and the x1 coordinate is 6. Alright, so essentially that's the equation of the line, but we've been asked to put it in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught where a, b, and c are constant. So what I'd want to do is multiply both sides by the 5. So if we do that, we've got 5 times y, 5y, 5 times minus 7, minus 35. And because this is all one term, if we multiply this side by 5, we've just got 2 bracket x minus 6. And if we expand that, we've got 2x minus 12. All right, so. The x term here is positive, so I'm going to leave that on that side. And so we've got 2x. That means I need to subtract 5y from both sides. So we've got minus 5y. And add 35 to both sides. So we've got 35 minus 12, which is 23. So plus 23, and that equals 0. So there's the equation of the line L in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught. And if we were asked to write down the values of a, b, and c, a would have been 2, b would have been minus 5, and c would have been 23. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this part of the question, and 
hope you were able to follow that.